Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Hi guys, we meet again. So, are you all here in my class? Ernie, Intan, Aiman, Faris, Azim, Hakimi, Zulkifli, Adam, Nik, Haris, Zarul, Imran, Aidil, Sharif, Ainuddin, Amiruddin, Al-Amin, Amin, Al-Mukamal, Amir, Haikal, Arif Izwan, Nur Aiman, Fai, Ikhwan, Adam, Syarafi, Wa Muhammad Muzaffa, Ali Fikri, Muhammad Daniel, Muhammad Ishad, and Zainuddin MZ. So if you are here, go to gg.gg slash our secret Uh, Google attendance. Um, you can check it out in our WhatsApp group. So, filling your attendance right now. Okay. All right then. So, uh, this is uh, lesson two of our English subject. So, listen to the audio twice. Uh, so, this is lesson two. Okay. The instruction reads: uh, listen to the audio twice. Tick slash slash uh, for the correct. Answers. So, I've already have the audio. Let's listen together once. All right. Here we go. Hi, Sandra. How are you doing? Hi, Nelly. I'm doing fine, thank you. What are you writing? Oh, I'm writing for our school magazine. It's about making a difference. Wow, interesting. Can you share with me what it is about? The topic is about the environment. We need to change our habits. We have to protect our earth. How can we protect our earth? Firstly, we should stop using plastic. Replace them with reusable bags. When we go shopping, bring our own reusable bags or shopping bags. They are cheap and durable. They look stylish as well. Good idea. Any more tips? Yes, we should also save electricity. Turn off lights, the TV and fans when we are not using them. Next, we should save water too. Limit our water usage. For example, when brushing teeth, turn off the tap. Try not to use a lot of water when washing the dishes. That sounds amazing. Can you share more? Yes. Get the school magazine next Monday. I share all my ideas there. Okay, I can't wait. Okay then. Hi, Sen. So that was the um, audio. So I'm sure you have your own um, handout given to you before the holiday. So let's look at it together um, by listening to the audio. You listen already, uh, but since this, this is the recorded version, I'm sure you can always, you know, rewind, listen again. I want to go through together with you uh, the audio once more and uh, see whether we can answer the questions together. Okay? Sandra, how are you doing? Hi Nelly, I'm doing fine, thank you. What are you writing? Oh, I'm writing for our school magazine. Now, Nelly is talking to Sandra, obviously. Uh, it was given. Who is Nelly writing for? School magazine, college, university? Yes? School magazine. That's right. What is Nelly? Topic about what is Nelly's topic about the earth, the environment, the reusable bag. It's about making a difference. Wow, interesting. Can you share with me what it is about? The topic is about the environment. There you go. Or is it the earth or the reusable bags? Listen, okay. About the environment. We need to change our habits. We have to protect our earth. How can we protect our earth? Firstly, we should stop using plastic. Replace them with reusable bags. When we go shopping, 
bring our own reusable bags or shopping bags. They are cheap and durable. They look stylish as well. Good idea. Any more tips? Yes, we should also save electricity. Turn off lights, the TV and fans when we are not using them. So, that's it guys. Uh, Nelly suggested uh, these two. So look at the question, eh? question number three, which of the following was not suggested. So this is a trick question. Uh, make sure you don't rush during examination. So whenever you see question saying that uh, which of the following was not, not suggested, listen carefully. And Nelly didn't suggest for us to say, to say water. Next, we should save water too. Limit our water usage. For example, when brushing teeth. Okay, don't be confused. These two stop using plastic and electricity for the environment, but not uh, saving water. Moving on to section B. Scan the QR code, then listen to the audio twice. It's the same thing, the same audio. Um, I'm, I'm this class, eh? Um, I remember uh, the previous uh, assignment that we did. Uh, you listen poorly, meaning you can't catch. Right? You can't catch the meaning. You can't catch the the words. Uh, the um, Nelly and Sandra are saying, and also you can't uh, spell very well. So we are going to try. Since we are weak, we are going to do this twice. Are you with me? Yeah. Here goes. Hi Sandra, how are you doing? Hi Nelly, I'm doing fine, thank you. What are you writing? Oh, I'm writing for our school magazine. Mm. What should be the answer? What are you? What are you? Writing. How do you spell writing? W. W R I T I N G. So, what are you writing? Oh, I'm writing. See? If you don't know the spelling, listen carefully. It's there. So, I'm writing for our school magazine. It's about making a difference. Magazine. It's about who oh, I'm writing for our school magazine. I'm writing for our school magazine. So how do you spell school magazine? How do we spell it? Magazine. Maga. Zine. It's about making a difference. Wow, interesting. Can you share with me what is it about? The topic is about environment. We need to change our... Is that name? We need to change our... It's about making a difference. Wow, interesting. Can you share with me what it is about? The topic is about the environment. We need to change our habits. We... Habits. So how do you spell habits? H-O-B-B-I-T? <laughs> no, that's habit. Habits. You're not sure. Well, habits. Yeah, habit or habits. Habit. 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 Habit is something that uh, we like to do. Okay. What else? How can we protect our earth? Firstly, we should stop using what? You know the answer, right? Plastic. We have to protect our earth. How can we protect our earth? Firstly, we should stop using plastic. Replace them with reusable bags. When we go shopping, bring our own reusable bags or shopping bags. They are cheap and durable. So, please don't tell me you don't know how to spell plastic. I believe in you. Plastic, they are cheap and durable. Um, we have Siri.
Hey Siri. Hi there. Oops. Got to move myself. Siri, how do you spell durable? Durable. D U R A B L E. Thank you. Don't mention it. See? Durable. Okay, and number six, eh? number six. Okay, then. I got it. It's up to you. It's enough. They look stylish as well. Good idea. Any more tips? Yes, we should also save electricity. Turn off lights. Electricity. Siri, how do you spell electricity? It's a bit slow. Here's what I found. Siri, spell electricity. Electricity. E L E C T R I C I T Y. Okay, guys. Um, if you don't have Siri, uh, you can ask uh, Google. But don't be too dependent on the TV on and fans when we are not using them. Next, we should save water too. Limit our water usage. For example, when brushing teeth. Turn off the tap. Try not to use a lot of water when washing the dishes. That sounds... Okay then, washing. That sounds amazing. Uh, can you share more? Yes, get the Spoon Magazine next Monday. I share all my ideas there. Okay, I can't wait. So that's the end of uh, Session B of Lesson 2. Guys, Girls, make sure you write down, okay? Write down in your module. Okay, see. Um, try to recall the time when the water supply to your home was disrupted or cut. This we are very, very familiar with. We are living in Selangor, Kuala Lumpur. So water disruption cut, eh? Maybe can we, we can visit uh, Shabas website Water disruption Selangor. The disruption was the longest for Selangor in 2020 yet, with the supply fully destroyed by 9 a.m. six days later. later. October 21st, 2020. See? It happens in Selangor for how many days? So let's try to uh, answer the question. So when? Last week, last year, a fortnight ago, so we can safely say um, 21st. Let me try to attach here. In the, in the news, 21st October. When? So, when was the water supply disrupted? Water supply disrupted means 
uh, the water doesn't flow anymore it is it stopped okay hello siri disrupted meaning destructive means now cause disrupted meaning destructive means causing great and irreparable damage <laughs> oh man you see we our malay tongue disrupt disrupt disturbance problem interrupt stop so that's disruptive for you make sure you are familiar with google okay in, in terms of uh, finding answers and what not so when 21st october why okay water pollution water pollution what else um chemical release into the river and what else um breast pipe Yeah, those can also be one of the reason and uh how long three days five days one day you choose okay and what did you learn from the experience ah uh, this is interesting you you want students most of you are staying in a hostel right so what did you learn from the experience <laughs> i guess uh you learn how to survive with minimal water or you learn to how to appreciate water right there are so many things um oh yeah another one you spare water most of us we take it for granted we didn't keep any spare water eh? so in uh, lesson 2 we learn about the environment uh, and then uh, listening you uh, listen to the dialogue and you were able to write together with me of course and we discuss uh, the time when the water supply at your home was disrupted or cut I'm lucky I'm living here in Jeras uh, my area seldom we have any water destruction the worst we have only a day now language form and functions uh, we are now on on page 8 in our module if you are tired you can always pause this video and in our previous video i taught you on how to save this video you can do that too especially for those who have um weak internet line the language forms and function okay, it is all right offering advice and making recommendations advice what is advice let's say you have any problems you come and see your friend your friend give you some solution those are advice make sure they are good um you are having problem at school you go back home and you ask uh what your parents think uh, on the problem and what you need to do those are advices too so language form and uh, functions i've taught you before in class language is a tool it's a tool for you to uh to use the tool to use the language to get what you want uh to tell people what how your feelings um to plan you know to communicate so offering advice and making recommendations in pairs discuss and make sentences with these phrases for offering advice and making recommendations present your answers okay in mco pkpb obviously uh, you don't have 
with your friends. So it's you and me now. Okay, offering advice. It might be a good idea to um, let me see in the module here. Oh, sorry. So offering advice. These are what uh, you need to type to offer an advice. And uh, in our system, we test you through your writing. So whenever you want to uh, offer advice, you can write like this. It might be a good idea to save some money, save some water. You should or shouldn't. Eh? You should not. You shouldn't. You should not. You shouldn't waste uh, waste any water. You should sleep early, wake up early. It is better to concentrate in our studies. Those are offering advice. Making recommendation. Huge difference. Okay. I think we should go for. I think we should go uh, to the shopping complex because there are. Uh, many, oh, sorry, uh, during MCO and eh, PKP, I think we should not go to the shopping complex because of COVID-19. I strongly recommend for everybody to wear their masks. Uh, for example, it might be a good idea to organize a recycle campaign in our college. So, guys, we are on page eight. Question number one: It might be a good idea to organize a recycle campaign. Recycle campaign. What is recycle campaign? Recycle campaign, see? Reuse, reduce, recycle, those kind of things. You separate your rubbish and don't waste anything. So you should. So the sample given in the answer scheme is you should not. Hmm. not throw litter on the grass it is better to throw I throw rubbish in the recycle bin then into the river I think we should go for for what? For the environmental environment campaign. Hmm. Because why do you want to go to the environment campaign? Because it educates us on important to okay it educates or it will educate either either or is correct I strongly recommend so here that you buy recycle bags and use them at the grocery There you go, all the answers. Actually, this derives from the text. Okay, some tips when working in groups to discuss plans or solutions to problem. Here are some tips. Eh? If you have any problems, so you discuss with your friends. Listen attentively to everyone's suggestions, ideas, or opinion. Listen. Okay, listen attentively. Uh, not listen and play your handphone and whatnot. Listen attentively. Weigh the pros and cons of every idea. Pro, cons, the goodness, the badness, okay, the plus, the minus. Offer constructive and practical ideas. Give ideas, but don't simply give ideas because you wanted to say something. Give constructive ideas, right? ideas that people can use 
come to an agreement, a decision, or a conclusion. So when you discuss, you want uh, a conclusion. So this one, a good listener is like Dave's friend. We have an MPP, yeah, Abang MPP. Uh, Nate, Dave, you can, you can look for him. Hi, Dave. How are you? Oh, why do you look so worried? This is Dave. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried about pollution. If you are a little worried about pollution, sit down on a bench. I know Earth is suffering, pollution is terrible. Not only is environmental pollution dangerous for Earth, but dangerous for us too. What do you think is going to happen next? Pollution is a serious problem. It causes imbalance, imbalances in different ecosystems. So, ni ada budak ni. And Dave, uh, this is his friend. So, I, I don't know the name. So, uh, his friend is asking him, Dave, uh, why do you look so worried? Kenapa risau? Eh? risau. So, I'm a little worried about pollution. Uh, pollution, what is pollution? Pencemaran. So, Dave is a little, 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 little worried about pencemaran, pollution. I know us is suffering. Uh, Dave said, us is suffering. Eh? Menderita. Uh, pollution is terrible. Teruk sangat. Not only is the environmental pollution dangerous for Earth, but dangerous for us too. See, global warming, we have massive floods. So what do you think uh, is going to happen? Apa nak jadi? Pollution is a serious problem. It causes imbalance. Imbalances. Absolutely, besides problem around climate change, are we are made worse by environment pollution? Okay. I think some plants and animals are likely to become extinct. Extinction will further upset the balance. Um, climate change, climate change. Uh, many unfortunate country like uh, Indonesia is sinking, Jakarta is sinking. People are living about a meter under the water now, under the sea level. You see, when you watch YouTube or you go, uh, when you watch uh, Netflix, try to go for these uh, environmental channels. Yeah, now ice is melting and the water level of the sea is rising. Pollution can cause the spread of various kinds of disease too. Diseases too. We need to make sure uh, everyone is aware of the harmful effects. Uh, once more people are aware of the dangers and we work together, we can think of a solution. So, good listener, uh, Dave and his friend. Complete the conversation below according to the underlined functions given. You may use the word given in the brackets. So guys, girls, this is common. You always see this uh, during examination. So we have here uh, four characters. Uh, Faiz, Chi, Raj and Chi. Faiz, Chi, Raj and Chi. Oh, three people. And... <laughs> yes. Raj, this is Raj. Typo. Sorry. Discussing about the uh, community service. Okay, this is the situation. During examination, you will face the same kind of questions. Language, form, and function. So we use English to offer advice. So Fa is here. Is for offering advice. Okay. Hi mates, we have an assignment from Mr. Tan. We have to carry out a project for community service under a subject related to the environment. Let's clean the river. So, how to get this warm up here? So, let's Let's clean the river, right? Let's clean the river should be awarded one mark. We, we should clean the river. The local river, the river, we better clean the river. So this will grant you one mark, right? Recommend. I have to recommend, eh? okay? 
that's a great idea. I suggest we clean the Venus River. Okay. See? To recommend. Okay. I wish to recommend to clean the Venus River. You like it? I wish to, oh, this is the wish, okay. Never mind, never mind, just concentrate on this. To recommend, I wish to recommend. You see? This is from the question. These are the answers given. You are uh, required, you may use the words given in the brackets. May use it. You don't use it, it's okay. As long as the meaning comes through, but I suggest you use uh, the given words. Now, to disagree politely. Disagree, why is disagree? Tak setuju lah disagree tu. Okay. Uh, so, Raj says, I prefer to what? Carry on the water conservation awareness campaign. So, Raj wanted to do this, to do this. What else? Uh, disagree politely. Eh? Sorry, I prefer. I prefer to carry on the water conservation awareness campaign. So Raj here, he doesn't agree with the idea to clean the Bunus River. He prefer to do something else, so he disagree politely. And uh, lastly, to give support, eh? agree Raj. So, what should we write here? We agree on cleaning the Mabonus River. Or we shall so we give support. So Raj is giving support. Okay. That's true, but let's do something exciting for a change. Imagine actually cleaning up a river. You're all right, let's do something exciting and beneficial for you. Okay, to agree, we agree to clean the bonus river. To agree, simple, right? Or the other one. We shall clean the bonus river. So people, what do we learn here? Whenever you see uh, questions like this, um, touching on the language form and function, if you don't really uh, know what to do, you just look at the function here. Function, eh? Function to offer advice, to recommend, to disagree politely, to give support. And the words given, under here, I wish you luck to try your best not to sway. For example, to offer advice, can you put a question mark here? No, it's wrong, right? That's to ask. So to recommend, make sure you focus lah when you when you answering. Just focus. And what else do we have? Oh, I think we've covered lesson number two. Okay then, um, you may take a rest. Make sure you fill in the attendance sheet. Um, meet me in our Google Meet classroom. And uh, you can use uh, WhatsApp. Ask me any questions anytime. Okay? Uh, no need to direct message and DM me, no need to. When you ask question in the group, 
it benefits everybody. So with that, I say uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day. All right. Goodbye.